I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. The end of the book of Galatians, not giving your pastor flack, all who live by this rule, peace, sounds like a lot, but it'll only be five minutes. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If you love our videos, if you love what we're doing as an organization, passion, passing the faith onto the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell for notifications, and donate. Support.higherthings.org. Your tax-deductible gift keeps this ministry, a ministry all about passing the faith to the next generation, keeps us a rolling. And we need your gift in these dark times. We stopped with verse six, start, we were to start on verse 16 in Galatians, but in actuality, we're going to start with actually with verse 15, because that's what we need to do. Uh, the video from last week is there. Um, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything, but a new creation. And so again, the thing that matters is the suffering and death of Christ received by faith alone. What matters is your baptism. What matters is the word, not what you do or don't do. You are not saved by making a decision. You are not saved by not. You are not saved by being a Lutheran. You're not saved by not. You're not saved by um, giving your life to Jesus. You're not saved by not. Um, those things all law. What matters is Christ received by faith, his suffering and death received by faith alone. And Paul says, so to all who um, follow or conform to this rule, peace be upon you and mercy. Upon the Israel of God. So to the one who believes that salvation is by grace through faith in Jesus Christ, who believes that God does not treat sinners as they deserve or harbor anger forever, to the one that believes that salvation and grace and, and mercy from God to sinners was achieved on the cross and delivered to us in the word and the and in the water and his body and blood to them be peace and mercy. That's the Israel of God. The Israel of God is not by means of how much Jew you are and how much Gentile you are. The Israel of God are those who receive Jesus by faith alone. That's what makes us children of Israel. That's what makes us children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. What makes us children of Israel is Jesus. His faith received, his work received by faith alone. That's what makes the church the church. When you read the children of God in the Old Testament, you should think of your church. When you think, when you see what God does for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you should think this is what he's doing for me. When he says, I'm the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you should not think that he's a God for some people in the Old Testament. No, he did the stuff that he did in the OT, just like he did the stuff that he did in the New T, for you and for your forgiveness so that you would have life that goes on and on and on. And to those who believe this gospel, peace be with you. To those who reject this gospel, just move along. It's okay, nothing against you, but just move along. This is what's so important. This is what's so important. This is what I want you to hold dear. The gospel, Jesus, received by faith alone. He alone saves you. That's what you need to keep in front of your eyes. Whether you do the extra things. Um, a friend of mine sort of engaged a Pentecostal for the first time. The Pentecostal wouldn't... Um, allow them even to um, to date them because they their faith was so different because they believed that they had to speak in tongues. Speaking in tongues? Not speaking in tongues. Doesn't matter. What matters is faith 
in Jesus alone. That's what makes you children of Abraham. Look, from now on, for the rest, let no one let me have difficulty, for I bear the stigmata of our Lord Jesus Christ on my body. The stigmata, the wounds. Paul says, don't give me any flack because I bear on my body the suffering and death of Jesus. And, and you know what? You should not give your pastor flack. Look, bust his chops, mock him in a nice way, have a great relationship with him. But lay him out to dry? Beat him up and steal his lunch money? Talk trash about him in the parking lot? Now, don't do that because he bears the suffering and death of Christ in his body. His body, his stress, his life is suffering. So if you believe that Jesus died and rose again for you, don't, don't add to his suffering. And certainly not over something stupid like the color of the carpet. Love one another. Love covers a multitude of sins. But the old man, the old apostle says, look, don't give me, don't give me flack. Not anymore. You know for certain that I bear on my body the wounds of Christ. His suffering was my suffering. I suffer for you. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Amen. And he ends with the way he begins, with the grace and mercy of God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Calvary and Easter forgiveness achieved by Jesus on the cross. There's Thor, he's still sleeping. <laughs> delivered to you in the word. That's the trump of circumcision or uncircumcision, tongues, decision, drinking alcohol, all the things in Protestantism that we think are, are important. Pope, not Pope, all the things with Roman Catholicism that we think are are so important. All of that is trumped by the suffering and death of Jesus. Let's first agree on the body, the, the, uh, on, on the crucified Christ being the only way that we're saved. And then those other things will work themselves out. And for God's sake, don't give your pastor flack. The grace and the mercy of God be with your spirit. Your spirit. Your spirit. You um, remind the pastor in the liturgy when you say, when he says, the Lord be with you, and you say, and with thy spirit, you remind the pastor of his ordination. Where he first turned, after, after his ordination, where he first turned to, to you and said, the Lord be with you, and you said, and with your spirit. What spirit? The spirit breathed on you in baptism, which we had breathed on you in ordination, which we had earlier this week, the Lord breathed on his disciples and said, receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Take that com comfort. Take that peace. Take that mercy. Take that forgiveness. And shower others with it. Beginning with your pastor. He needs to hear that peace and mercy. He needs to hear the love of God. And then others around you, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all, which is a great way to end this letter. This wonderful letter of Galatians. So thank you for staying with us. We, we, we made it through. We will start another book next week. You'll have, to, you'll have to join us on Thursday to find out which book that is. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. I'll see you next week. So will Lord, hopefully.